Hi guys, Drancher Knighty here again and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video I'm doing a VR to Yorkshire Man 66 for the game that I've spent the most money on. Now if you've seen my most expensive items in my collection video that I did quite a while ago now, you'll know exactly what's coming. And that game is Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Now, I bought this back in February 2019 for £65. Um, I went to Basingstoke CEX that day. Um, it was I was only still just getting into the retro stuff, so I spent about £200 or so in the CEX in Basingstoke. So I bought Pokemon Fire Red. I bought Metal Gear Solid on PS1. I bought a GameCube. I bought Pokemon Coliseum. I bought, Pokemon, uh, I bought Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. And I bought this. And I'm sure there were some other things. I think I bought Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic uh, 1 on the Xbox as well. But yeah, £65 is what I spent on this. But as you can imagine now, with CEX prices being the way they are now, it's much more. And I can tell you right now, it is so much more. I mean, seriously, look it up. I'll put a picture on the screen, but it's £175 now that they're selling this for. £175. Now, that's crazy. So, in ever since February 2019, you know, I remember when it went up to like £75, and then it went up to like £90, but now it's £175. That's crazy money. And to think, you know, if you traded it in, I think you get like £131 trade in. You know, you just take one game in and you get £131 on a voucher to buy loads of other things, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's kind of weird in a sense because it's like how I know people have done videos on the prices of games, like being what they are, but like how exactly do they price them? Because again, it's like paying £65 for this all that time ago and now it being £110 more. That's craziness. I mean, like, that's kind of another reason why I won't get rid of this because if I do then it's like, do I really want to watch the price of this go up again to the degree that if I ever want to play it again, like it'll be ages and ages before I even play this game again. Um, but if I ever choose to again, like do I really want to spend hundreds of pounds on a game that I've already played rather than spending on like a rarer game that I've never played and never owned? Now that's my thinking. Um, it's the same with this game, Drakengard. So it's not an expensive, it wasn't an expensive game when I bought it. It was about six or eight pounds, I think, I spent on this. And again, this was in like probably 2019, maybe early 2020 at a push. So I spent about six or eight pounds on this. But looking it up recently, and again, I'll put another picture up on the screen, it's now 75 pounds. That is unbelievable. 75 pounds for this. You know, it was six or eight pounds when I bought this game. And all of a sudden it shot up. Now, the second one is part of a trilogy, but the, like, the second one uh, was already like 30, 35 pounds. I think it's like 40 or 45 pounds now. But this is just like, how does it go from six to eight or eight pounds to 75 pounds? Like, Seriously, I think what I'll probably do is I will watch those videos and just kind of find out if the, pe the people are knowledgeable to know why the price is the way they are. Or if you know, let me know in the comment section below, you know, why they do the prices like they are. Obviously, a lot of people don't agree with their prices. A lot of people think it's overpriced. Um, but yeah, again, it's like, it'd be so easy to get rid of this because these two alone, like trading them in, would be £181 in trade. Now... It takes a lot of stuff to trade in usually to get that amount. Like any time I've ever traded in in my life. But like to take these two in to then get nearly £200. You know, and it's crazy. It's like lots of other things have gone through price things. Like I remember when I bought Stubbs the Zombie. That was like £30, £35. And now it's like 60 And then um, Jolly Slasher Gaming. You know, you bought um, Blood Will Tell recently. And that was like £48, £52, but now it's like £90 or something. Um, if you're watching it, mate, let me know in the comments what you actually paid for it, because there's something around that, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, crazy prices, am I right? 
Um, but that's a short little insight into my expense, well, the game I've spent the most money on. Um, I'm sure there'll be bigger and better ones in the future, though. Um, I say better. I mean, like, there'll be bigger games that I will spend more money on because they're just rarer and harder to get. So I'll definitely be doing that. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching and subscribing. Uh, if you're new here, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps with YouTube algorithm. Subscribe down below and turn the bell on for notifications so you don't miss out on my latest uploads. I've got a few coming very soon. Um, as well as a very interesting one, which I think, or at least I think hopefully everyone will enjoy. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for, thank you very much for watching and subscribing. Enjoy the rest of your day, whatever it is you're doing. And as always, guys, take care of yourselves.